Hey again, guys. So it's Sunday, and on Sundays, do you know what I like to do? Man, I like to look at some baseball cards. I want to show you a few things that I picked up. One's extra special. Actually, another one's extra special, too. And that's dedicated to Nate over at Tops 85401 here. Uh, he did uh, a response to my challenge of finding an obscure player. And uh, I wasn't familiar with him, so I had to pick one up of the player that he showed. And that's Clyde Paris. This is an auto card of him. He was an old Negro Leagues player. Never made it to the majors, but had a great Negro Leagues uh, uh, career. And uh, I don't think there's any cards from his playing days. So I grabbed this one. He's one of those... Um, players that kind of came to the forefront later on so I'm happy to add that to my collection I actually have a whole box of um, cards and signatures and stuff from the Negro League someday I'll do a video on it I need to learn more about it I've from the time I was little I was always fascinated with that league now here is an extra special card it's a rare Roy Campanella uh, from the 1950 Drake's set beautiful card these are hard to find and I just love this set so that's my third one from the set I have the Yogi Berra I have the Gil Hodges and now I have this great Roy Campanella what a great player and I have this uh, 34 Gowdy Earl Grace he caught for my Pittsburgh Pirates and he set the um, fielding percentage record. Earl Grace, good defensive catcher. Only made one error one season to set that record. And I had this card, but I've been watching it for like a year, maybe longer. Uh, so I just snagged it. Price kept coming down on it, so it finally got real cheap. And I picked up this Dick LeBeau. This is my favorite Philadelphia set been slowly working on that set and I picked up a 58 Ray Jablonski and I had a couple uh, old leaf cards up on my walls that I took down so I thought I'd show them since I did um, this is a I guess 48 49 leaf Ted Kluzowski rookie card And a Johnny Vandermeer. I got this as a kid because I was, you know, fascinated with the fact that he threw back-to-back -back no hitters. I got both of these when I was a little kid at the flea market I used to walk to. But you gotta love the leaf cards. I just want to thank you all for the great uh, response for my last uh, video, which was the Sports Card Cafe, my episode four. In episode one, I uh, did Ty Cobb. Episode two, I did Willie Stargell. Episode three, I just talk about card grading, and I show a lot of old uh, footage of different old ball players and commercials. Um, and then, of course, uh, this last one was Stan Musial, and I, I showed two really great card commercials. Um, so if you haven't checked it out, you know, please do so, and let me know what you think. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching.